Ouch! Now this is dramatic. Fairly sure we've found the problem. So the best cow has come in with a really sore foot, which is exactly why we're filming it, because I'm hoping we're able to do something about it. This foot on the right hand side is much larger than the one on the inside, and I can see a hole almost instantly. I'm praying we find something wrong with it. Yes, my teeth are still messed up. I'm praying we find something wrong with her because her pastern is really swollen up and that's not something we can do anything about. Right, onwards. Fairly sure we've found the problem. That is incredible, is it not? Poor thing. So I said our pastern was swollen, and obviously, my jeez, oh. And obviously, that is why it's been swollen. We just follow this back to its culmination. There must be a huge cavity in there. We still need to be careful though. Just incredible. Okay, so we're just gonna leave that for a second. We're grabbing the grinder here in an effort to flatten off the interior or medial claw so that we can stick a block on it. We're literally only taking a very minimal amount of weight to get this claw up off the ground. This isn't a case of reducing the size of a medial claw. We're literally only taking a very minimal amount of weight. And while we've got the grinder in our hand, we might as well reduce that lateral claw as much as we possibly can to ensure that every piece of weight possible is up off the ground. Small wooden. Yep. So these are the smallest blocks that we've got. And as you're just about to see, even this one is bigger than that interior claw, meaning that there will be a bit of an overhang that we need to manage. Where's a pretty boy then, look. Oh, let's have some love for Kev in the comments. I said love, yes, I know his face looks like that, but try to be nice. Say <laughs> sure. <laughs> Harsh. The teeth will be fixed soon. Lovely. Not so lovely. Okay, we're going to get rid of all of this loose detached horn. We can see it's translucent, so we can actually see that there is a portion behind that we need to remove. And obviously this hole goes much deeper than just the surface. I still can't quite get over just how much liquid came out of this. Absolutely incredible. And as you can see, there's actually still some in there. You can hear it more than see it. Now we're not going to take this all the way down to the bottom of the hole because if we did, we'd be opening our foot up massively because this must be such a huge cavity. But we are going to make sure that every bit of that infection can get out easily. You can actually see that. God, look at that. Ugh. Nice. Right, let's get as much of this off as we possibly can because I can see that it actually travels down the sole. Yep, look at that. Just gonna tease my knife in here. Try to lift it away from the corium. This is the part where things can go wrong very, very quickly. I'm gonna put the back of my knife underneath there and try and lift this away. Didn't go very well. Round in a circle and down. And lift away. 
Okay, look at this. If we lift this up, look at that. We're just going to need to snip this off as gently as we possibly can. Obviously, this is just hoof horn, not anything else. I mean, look at that. Just look at that. That is just colossal, isn't it? We're not going to do anything else to this at all. This will obviously need to be revisited in two weeks' time. But actually, I'm really happy with how that's gone. No wonder so much fluid came out of that. That cavity is absolutely huge. We're going to spray this down with iodine to make sure we kill any kind of infection that's on the surface there. And we're going to wrap it to try and heal up this open tissue now. So now all we need is a wrap from Kevboy. You're not getting a raise, he keeps doing that, he thinks he's smart. Wait until I ask you for a wrap. Okay. <laughs> Can you imagine the difference this is going to make to the cow? So I said in the beginning that the pastern was inflamed and swollen up and that I wasn't sure if that would mean we could do anything for the cow. And it turns out the reason it's so swollen up was because there was so much fluid inside her foot. Now that fluid has been released and this bandage will stay on for a couple of days. It should all heal up nicely. That block is going to take all of the weight completely away from the sole and she's going to be in a much better place than she was just a few minutes ago. This is a win. Okay, now clearly we didn't see this cow walking into the crush but I'm pretty sure you're going to believe me when I tell you she didn't even want to touch the ground with that foot because it was so sore. If there's any doubt here, just think how much fluid just came out of her foot, the pressure that would have caused and the pain that would have caused in turn. Trust me, she was not touching the ground with that foot. So I'm hoping what we've done should make a difference within a few steps. Okay, so she's clearly still in a lot of pain. We're gonna check back on her in a few minutes. <coughs> Just like that, it is a few minutes later. And here she is walking now. Now clearly, she is not pain free, but she is now touching the ground, which is miles better than she was before the video started. So just take my word for it. Her whole pastern was swollen, so the entire foot was causing pain. So even with the block on, there's still that pain there. But over the next day or so, she's gonna realize that that block has really mitigated that pain and really helped out. So when we next visit her in two weeks, I fully expect her to have her foot completely on the ground and pretty much be lameness free. You've been watching the Hoof GP and what I would call a very successful hoof print. Cheers guys, catch you later.